Let's head back to Virginia Tech and check in with our Mike Bettis because he's trying to break a record, trying to get to 131 miles an hour. And obviously, Mike can't talk to us when he's in the wind tunnel. I think they're getting going there. We can look at his hair. You can see it uh, flapping around just a little bit. They're going to crank it up. We want to now talk to a Dr. William Davenport, who is the Virginia Tech wind tunnel director. Dr. Davenport, thanks for talking to us while Mike is uh, held up there in the wind tunnel. Why is it that you're going to stop the winds at 131 miles an hour? What makes it so dangerous over that speed? I think what makes it dangerous is that is uh, the total force that he's experiencing and also the chance that he might move in a, in a, in a way and uh, get out of control. We don't want that to happen. So how much effect can temperature and pressure have on the wind? Uh, more or less for the wind tunnel, the slower, uh, the colder it is, the faster the wind will go. Uh, the hotter it is, uh, uh, the slower the fan, uh, the less efficient the fan becomes. Now, talk about the other things that you test in this building besides human beings. Uh, we test uh, airplane models, we test uh, submarine models, uh, we also test signs and street lights. Uh, and we've had a test of a device designed to uh, lower the pressure under roofs in hurricanes to hold them on. And I think we just uh, made the record there. There we go. So now you're shutting them off. So I see those winds actually can go down quite quickly. And what kind of a difference is it from 122 to 131? Is it that much worse? He looks like he's in a lot more pain this time. It, it's about it's about another 20 pounds of force on him. And, and I think uh, he's he experiencing he's experiencing that right now. And we just took you up to category four hurricane winds of 131 miles an hour. That's also equivalent to an EF2 tornado. And we're going to get Mike Bettis out here because he looks much more miserable than he did the time before. But uh, Dr. Devonport, you actually have tunnels there that have gotten up to Mach 7 and Mach 12 even for a fraction of a second. How fast is that? Actually, we have the tunnels are uh, Mark 4 and Mark 7, and uh, uh, Mark 4 could be as uh, much as uh, um, uh, 1,300 meters a second. That's, that's um, uh, getting close to a mile per second. A mile. So what is Mike uh, feeling right now? Can you talk to him through there? Is there a door you can open? We can ask him a question. Uh, I, I, I don't think he can hear me from here. He also doesn't look like he's ready to talk. I think that quite took the wind out of it. I think it did, too. All right, uh, Dr. Devonport, we certainly appreciate your expertise. And it looks like Mike is like, wants you to get him out of there, Dr. Devonport. So we'll let you do that, and we'll check in with you guys a little bit later.